Hey everyone, welcome back to another installment, another quick glimpse into my new book that's coming out, The Bug Free Blueprint. Uh, this is the second video of professional tips that you can find in the book, which is getting closer to launching real quick here in less than a week. I'm really excited, but I wanted to give you a glimpse into a few subjects that I get the most questions on. I get the most response from my articles and videos that I do. And this one's on German roaches. And where do I find them? Where do these things hide? Why can't I get rid of them? Well, if you know where they hide, then the rest is just automatic. You can start eliminating them. So in this video, Video, I want to just take you through, show you some of their favorite hiding spots, and we'll go from there. Remember, this is the second installment. I've got some more coming out, videos that I think you'll like, but remember, my book, The Bug Free Blueprint, is coming out, and all that information's in there. I'm excited to share this with you. It's been 30 years in the making, and I think it'll really benefit you. So let's take a look at those German roaches and see how we can get rid of them, all right? Okay, German roaches. How can we get rid of them? Well, part of getting rid of a German roach infestation is just finding them. German roaches are thigmotropic. Don't worry, that's about the only big word I know. And it simply means they like to be touching on all sides. So they're going to find the tightest little cracks and crevices that they can. The first obvious place, or at least the place that I get most of my phone calls uh, for service, is the cabinets themselves. You'll find there are, there's just uh, plenty of hiding spots in a cabinet. They can hide in between some of the products you have up in there. They love these hinges because once closed, they're happy-go-lucky right behind there, nice and tight. They like to be touching on all sides, remember? So you're going to want to concentrate in these areas. Obviously, you don't want to spray anything up in the cabinet itself, but you can use baits successfully in these areas. If you're using a gel bait, simply put some on the hinges. They're going to be there sooner or later. You can remove some um, products and move it around and put some of the uh, bait stations, things like that. But that's a classic spot. Drawers are another because at the end of this drawer is just the darkest, most secluded area almost in your entire kitchen. And they can come out uh, at night at will and uh, find what they need and then scoop back in. So a lot of times these drawers come right on out and you can inspect and see where they're at. And if you can see them, you can treat them. A couple of harder spots uh, that are really difficult to get rid of the German cockroach is basically the microwave. This thing is pretty much hollow except for the core of it. I don't know how it all works, but they get in there. You can actually see them in the clocks. It gets to be a real mess. So I talk about this in the book of uh, how to successfully root them out of there and without sprays obviously you don't want to fry the wires or get electrocuted or anything but this is a common place where you're going to have german cockroaches coffee maker who if i had a nickel for every time i've lifted one of these up and seen them scurry a lot of us folks put it up on a little hot plate or something and they'll be under there just enjoying the warmth of the morning coffee the moisture and the steam that builds up sometimes they can even get inside and it's really gross. So a lot of the same techniques for our microwave are also for the coffee maker, but that is a huge spot. So you want to take this thing apart, clean it with vinegar or whatever household uh, cleaning solution you have that's safe and uh, do that. And then again, in the book, we talk about how to bait this kind of area successfully. Another area, I see this so often forgotten by even the professionals, knife blocks. This thing is perfect. It's got tons of little thigmotropic loving insect houses. I mean, nice little slits where the thin blade goes in. So it's perfect for the roach. And what you'll have, if you turn it upside down, you'll start seeing fecal matter in here. You'll start seeing the little antenna sticking out. They just love hiding out in here. And normally our night blocks are put real close to these other areas, such as the uh, uh, coffee maker or the microwave and so it's a natural spot so these three four areas actually are really extremely common take your time examine them and I tell you what you'll get rid of a huge part of that population but there's one area in particular that sometimes is the feeding uh, source if you will of an infestation and that's the refrigerator I want to show you why now the refrigerator can house thousands of German cockroaches. It's got heat, 
it's got moisture, it's got food scraps, it's a perfect spot for them to hide in. The motor of the refrigerator is always on the back, up against the wall, and that's where the heat builds up, moisture condensation from the uh, ice uh, tube that goes up, the uh, water tube that feeds the ice maker, and then there's the housing for the motor itself. A lot of times that's covered with a thick piece of cardboard and they are just loving that because they're in behind it with all those elements that they need and love. Plus, roaches are actually a relative of the termite and can munch on that little bit of cardboard. So if things get kind of sparse, they can find a meal right there in the back of the refrigerator. The trick is to pull the refrigerator out. You're gonna to wanna to be careful to remove any objects from the top so they don't come crashing down. Get it out far enough to where you can inspect it. And what I do in a lot of severe infestations is I just take that piece of cardboard off. It's kind of stapled or, or uh, ratcheted in, um, so to speak, and you got to kind of have to rip it off. You're just removing a huge source of uh, problem that, you know, it holds in that moisture and that heat. So taking that off is really going to do uh, some damage to that colony that's festering back there because now all of a sudden the air flows a little more, it's a little drier, and you can access them easier. So for the refrigerator, pull it out, get a good flashlight, check behind it, and treat with aerosols, uh, bait, whatever you choose, that'll be fine. I would shy away from dust because there's a fan under there, and every time that fan kicks on, it's going to be shooting the dust out to where you and I are, and that's not good. So a nice can of aerosol, kill what you see, some bait stations back there to set up for the next ones that come, and then simply put it right back and start living roach-free.